I am a stickler with time. So welcome. I'm going to start. I have two screens. If people are wondering why I'm doing this, uh, it's not because I'm weird. Well, I'm weird, but that's not why I'm doing that. So welcome, welcome, everyone. Hey, we got the beautiful Victoria as well. She was taking the risk for wild card today. She was like, what is wild card? I will explain what a wild card is. Um, so we've got some people on, <laughs> I know my hair, I'm trying to make it stick up as much as possible for all of you guys. So I might do some weird things with my hair. It's back to pink, but I have to bleach it and stuff like that. I need, I need a, oh, we got Lukey coming on. We've got Facebook land. We got everybody. So my catchphrase, I, I don't realize that I say this all the time. Hey, Stephanie. I say welcome, welcome, like a million times. So, welcome. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. I need, a, I need a turtleneck. I need a different angle so you don't see my... Ooh, ooh, that is not a good angle for me. Not a good angle. All right, well, it doesn't matter. I don't have any makeup on. I didn't do my hair today. I got my donut headband. It's Friday. It's Friday. And you're lucky I'm here. You're lucky I'm here. Mm. So today's mug is a little bit of a hint. There's a little bit of a hint what we're going to do today. But I'm Deborah. Uh, I've looked better. But I'm from the Center for Enhancing Abilities. And those of you on Zoom, you're like, we know who you are, Deborah. Why are you doing this? Because we have some people on Facebook that aren't used to it. So, um, so I'm from the Center of, uh, for Enhancing Abilities. I'm out of the Bergen Center, but we welcome members from all centers. And it is Friday. It's Happy Friday. So I'm really glad. We got Kelly popping in, or maybe she's scrolling. Uh, some of you may remember Kelly. Who else we got? Good morning. We did not get an invite to Zoom. Can you? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Can you go on to Facebook and I'll give you the number? It's the same number. Alrighty, so those of you who are joining, you don't need this because you're already here. So for those of you who are joining us on Facebook, uh, here's the Zoom ID if you want to come in. I'm reading like all these terrible, horrible things about Zoom. We got, we got Anna. Excellent. Oh, we got a good group. We got Luke. Luke's trying to run away. Luke's trying to run away from me. Um, so, oh, but I can also send an invite. I have so many things. Uh, going on. It's unbelievable. I have multiple devices. Um, hold on. I have multiple de uh, whatever going on. Sorry, I want to get our friends who want to get onto Zoom and I want to get them here. Alrighty. I'm getting old. I, I can't do, I, I, I can't do uh, so many things at once. I can't. I can't like I used to. Maybe I never could. Maybe I never could. So, welcome. Today is our wild card. Kara is here. We didn't see the assignment until too late. It's okay. There's no assignments. Nobody's getting in trouble. That's not how any of this works, so we're not going to worry about it. But if you did see this, there was, there was an email. Hopefully you'll, some of you got it. Maybe some of you didn't. If you're on Zoom, you got the email. So what I included in my email, and it's also included in um, one of the Facebooks. Okay, don't worry about it, Victoria, because you're going you're gonna to see it. I might share it and split the screen. It's not urgent. You do not need this. So if you do not have this printed out, do not panic. All right? These are not things to get stressed out about. But they are for some people who might need a little extra help or, or you know, with imagination, creativity. Maybe they don't speak. Um, so this is finally found us, finally found us. So oh, I think Jamie's, is she on? I don't know who that is. So what I did was I included some wacky, I picked random, random words. This is included in the comments, um, to our, our daily schedule. That's up. Okay. So I'll come back to this. So um, for some of you saying, Deborah, why are you holding a sign? It's for anybody on Facebook that wants to join us for a moment. And then I'll put it down for a second. Mm. All righty. We got Caitlin on. Good job. So who do I got? I got Alona. I got me. 
I got Victoria, I got Hannah, I got Stephanie, I got Luke, I got Jamie, I got Caitlin, I got Terrence, I got Kara. I got a bunch of people, different, different, different ways to get people. Alrighty, so today, uh, Victoria said, she sent me a text, she goes, what on earth is a wild card? Wild card, uh, I'm a football fan, those of you who don't know, don't worry, we're not playing football. Uh, but I'm a big football fan. And wild card is kind of like, you don't know what you're going to get. You just don't know. And that's what I like to do on, like on a Friday. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I like, I plan the week and we see how the week goes. And then it's kind of like, what are we in the mood for? You know, and, and I, what I did was today's project is something new. We're going to try it. And I base this on feedback that I get from different people. So... It was originally supposed to be World Studies uh, because I have a special guest. He's not really a guest. He lives in my house. But Simon will be returning and we will be reviewing food. Okay? We got another box of food and that's what started it all. So Simon and I are uh, coming back uh, at us. Uh, you know, I'm going to start to... I'm going to get a tattoo with the Zoom code on my head. That's what I'm gonna do. So you guys know how to do this. It's always this, I know I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. So hold on, I will not. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I will, Victoria. So we're just letting a few more people come on. Katie's gonna come on, we got some people on Facebook. So so how's everybody doing? Let's take a minute, How how's everybody doing? Victoria, how are you doing today? Pretty good? All right, all right, that's pretty good. Stephanie, how are you doing today? All right, all right, it's Friday. Hannah, how are you doing today? Excellent, excellent. Caitlin, did I see you have a coffee mug as well? Yeah, tea mug. All right, tea mug's cool. How are you doing today? Okay, you're doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. Green tea. Okay, good, good. You got healthy. I just got coffee. I got old coffee. Jamie, how are you doing? You're getting all dressed up. You're doing well. Good. Terrence, how are you doing? Now, for Facebook people, uh, we got Stacy on Facebook as well. She might pop in. It's the same Zoom code, people. Same one. Same one. Probably everybody's going to steal my identity. So, uh, wild card today. What I'd like to do is do this as, oh, we got Katie coming on, so we got Alona, we got Victoria, we got Stephanie, we got Hannah, we got Jamie, we got Caitlin. I thought I had some other people. They must have left. Uh, and I got some people on Facebook. Good morning, good morning. So, Stacy's on Facebook. So, welcome. Now... What are we doing today? I am trying to increase my ability to be a little bit more interactive and, and trying to figure out ways we can do stuff, okay? Just so you know, on Google Classroom, there's a lot of cool stuff up there this week. Go take a look. Go, go take a look, okay? You don't have to do it, but you might find something you really like to do, okay? Um, it's, if, But you know what? Hey, Terrence is on uh, is on here too. If you haven't gotten a Google Classroom invite because it went to a different email, send me a text. I got okay, it. you got it. I know you're on it. Ha I think I think a lot of you guys are on it. Send me a text and we'll figure it out. Okay? It's very simple. I didn't read Dr. Valtteri, to tell you the truth. What? Yes, Terrence was talking about, isn't that man from La Mancha? Isn't that what Don Quixote is? Here, and let me see. So I want people to be able on Facebook to hear us as well. So today we're going to do a little something like that. We are going to see if we can collectively make or write a story. Hey, Terrence, what's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. How, how are you staying so, so clean shaven? How are you staying so clean shaven, Terrence? Hi. I I look I look like I don't know. 
I look like somebody dropped a house on me, man. But you look good. You look good. Terrence looks good. How does that happen? Oh, well. Oh, well. This is a bad angle. All right. Who else we got? Did I miss anybody? Let me see. Uh, no, no, no. I think I got everybody. Okay. So, for today. Sorry. Big long. What? You see, yeah, you can see, you can change the view. Actually, this is like the Brady Bunch. Ha on my screen, Hannah's right right in the middle. Hannah's right in the middle. I'm up here. I don't know if you do, do it, you know. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday, and we're just, we're just going nuts. We're just going nuts for Friday. Okay, so, if you want, here's the Zoom code if you didn't get it. Now, today, I need some help from different people. Uh... You might have seen this. You might have seen this. These are different words. These were ideas to get us started. We are going to make a story, like a script. Okay? And I want you to tell, you know, and it could be, we're going to figure this out. We're going to write a story. All right? I, I got my notebook. I might switch to a split screen to type it in. I got my lucky lobster claw pen. Oh, I got my shopping list. That I don't need. And we're going to tell a story today. Alex is on Facebook. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, I'm... Where's Oreo? Okay, it's right there. I can see it. I can see you. I can hear you. I can hear you. So, you're good. So, if it was someone... If someone had problems with coming up with ideas or saying a word, I have a list of things. Now, this is not what you have to use, but if you see it on the Facebook, hey, Allegra, how are you? Good to see you. We're telling a story today. We're making a story. Every single person here has got to give me a word, and, and we're going to tell a story. You guys are going to help me pick how we tell this story. Alrighty, so on, on our paper that I sent, if you wanted to use this, I had randomly picked items, okay, randomly picked items. One was uh, a bear, uh, a coffee cup, a hamburger, a duck or a rubber ducky, you could choose what you want. One was like a restaurant or a pizza parlor, bowling, a motorcycle. People singing, yeah, I, random, random, I just picked this random, a bathtub, a bus or a school bus, so you get to choose. I think this guy, I don't know what he's doing, this guy here, let me show you guys, I don't, I don't know what he's doing, <sighs> but um, I picked him, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you think he's doing, he, I couldn't resist, I couldn't resist, uh, okay. What is that? Uh, he's, he's a guy. He's a guy. He's a guy. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's afraid. I don't know if he's yelling. I think I was asking for yelling, and I saw this guy. He's in the middle there, and I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I had to include him in my, in my thing here. Uh, there's a lady. Uh, let me see. What happened to my lady? Okay. Here's a lady. She's supposed to be jumping. I, I don't She could be falling out of a plane. I don't know what's going on with her. We have a policeman. I really like this policeman. I really like this policeman. I don't know if he's angry. Uh, and a picnic basket. And the last one, my printer's terrible. My printer's awful. It's, uh, it's a dog. It's a dog with uh, sunglasses or something like that. Okay. So those were random things that I picked. I just picked random things. I'm a random person. And the reason why I have a pumpkin mug is not because it's Halloween uh, or I'm predicting that we'll be here till Halloween. Um, I thought this was a fairy tale mug, a fairy tale mug. All right. So that's why I got it, right? Because Cinderella, what is she driving? What do they turn her carriage in? My favorite, we got Dave on now. She drives in a, in a pumpkin. In a pumpkin. So that's why when some people say, oh, I got to get home by 12 midnight, it's past my curfew, or I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. 
Which actually, you you wouldn't turn into the pumpkin. You would just turn into Cinderella wearing rags. But I don't know where that comes from. Okay, so we've got Allegra. We've got Alex on Facebook. We've got Kara. We've got a bunch here. We've got Dave. We've got Terrence. We've got Katie. We've got Jamie. We've got Hannah. We've got Caitlin. We've got Stephanie. We've got Alona. And we got Victoria. Did I miss somebody? Did I miss somebody? I don't see Doug. No. All righty. Now. We begin this journey of storytelling. This is what people did before there was TV um, and other things, I guess. People sat around a but bunch of say. sticks or rocks or something like that. Karen webs and everyone. Uh, somebody talking? Would, if... Was somebody talking? My apologies. No, no, it's okay. You're welcome. I, 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 me, I go on and on, so feel free to interrupt. <laughs> Oh, we got Jay coming on. Good. So people had really boring lives in the olden days. Uh, they're not as cool as us that got like a million Aww. things. Hello, Jay. Hello. We're putting together a story. Hello, Jay. So we're going to go to the original art of storytelling. That is what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to create a story. Tell me what you want me to say. And we're going to write it up. And then we're going to share it with everybody. So they could go back to their families and then their families. And when we're all old and we're sitting around a campfire some day, uh, we will tell our grandchildren this story. Probably not. Probably not. Who knows? Who knows? We don't know where it's going to end. So once again, if you didn't get it, we've got random things. I would rather see you guys than share the, and I think it's easier. Hey, Jay, happy to see you. I would rather see you all. Then, then share the document. Is that okay? If you guys want to see it from time to time, I can, I can share the document. As a matter of fact, what I will do is I will briefly share that with you so your screen's going to kind of go a little wonkers, okay? So that was the document. If you want to take a picture with your phone, well, if you're using your phone, I guess you can. But that's, that's the document there, okay? So... Uh, you got you got a screenshot or something like that? There you get I would much rather see your faces. I would much rather see your faces. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the share, and if somebody needs the share, you let me know, okay? Because now I can see all of you all at once, all at once. Okay. So. Everybody knows, who here has ever written a story before? Raise your hand, give a thumbs up, shout out. Okay, Katie, I know, Stephanie has, Hannah, have you ever written a story? All right, Caitlin has, you've all written a story. Yeah, there you go, raise your hand. Or, oh, Stacy's got something to share. Oral, st or oral storytelling is an, is an ancient tradition and art. And Stacy says, I would have been a very successful cave person. I can't read the rest of it, so I don't know if that's really a compliment or, or a comment on my hair. I really think I'd be okay in caveman times. I really would. You guys, you guys don't even know what I'm wearing, okay? So I'm wearing Christmas stockings or leggings, so it's bad, guys. It's bad. So, oh, no. it's Friday. I know. I know. No makeup, no makeup, guys. No filter. You got me just as I am. All right, so here we go. Now, we need a good way to start the story. No, well, you, girl, you, you're beautiful. I have this angle that's giving me like, like a goiter. Um, not making fun of the condition at all, but uh, this Facebook is just frightening. Oh my goodness. So, uh, women over 50 should not have camera angles coming from us. Okay. So, here we go. We need to start our story uh, with a catchy expression. Now, I've got two suggestions for you guys, and I want you to chime in and tell me what you think. Now, does anybody know the number one way a story um, starts, or one of the number one best ways to start a story? Once upon a time. Once upon a time, we got somebody else coming in. I don't know who that is, but all righty. Oh, I, I'm trying to think of who that is. Is that? Uh, let me see. Let me see. 
Is it Alex? Is it Alex? I couldn't see with the lighting. Welcome, welcome, Alex. We're doing some storytelling. All righty. So, once upon a time is one way we could start a story. We're going to take a vote, once upon a time, which is a good one, hence why I have my pumpkin mug today. Once upon a time, Cinderella didn't get to the hair salon. That's what happened to me. All righty. Dude, dude, look, you know, at least my hair's pink. At least it's pink. I, the blue, the blue wasn't as good. I don't know. I got purple, I got blue, I got pink, I got red. So, here we go. What's another great story starter? Does anybody know? Anybody on Facebook land? Anybody here? Alex? Yeah, Caitlin, tell us another. Okay, first Caitlin, then Katie. Katie B. Caitlin, you go first. Me? Yeah, Kate, Caitlin, you can go first. Caitlin W. Okay. She can go first, then Katie. I think you might be thinking like me. Okay, Kate. A dark and stormy night. That was the other one I was thinking of. Katie, what story starter do you got? A long time ago. A long time ago. That's another one. I didn't think about that. Anyone else? Uh, anybody else got, so we've got, it was, uh, once upon a time, that's number one. Uh, it was a dark and stormy night and a long time ago. Yes. Anybody? Okay. Anybody else have a good starter that you hear? Yes, yeah, Stephanie. In the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. That's a very famous, uh, starter in the beginning. There was, what is it, darkness? It shows that I don't go to church very often. I apologize. Uh, Hannah, you... What? Oh, it was dark? Is that what it is? Uh, Gertie, stay away, Gertie. Um, Hannah, you you raised your hand. Do you have a story starter? Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay, lay it on us. I like... Well, what would you start a story? Once upon a time... Once upon... There, yeah? There were... Kids uh, singing in a choir. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. You're getting into the core of the story. Excellent. Because that's what you were looking at. This word's excellent. So Hannah, Hannah is definitely a fan of uh, Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. So I've got, th I've got four. I've got four story starters from these very clever and creative people. Uh, so let's just see. I'm taking roll call. I got Alona. I, I, I don't say myself. I've got Victoria. I've got Stephanie. I've got Hannah. I've got Jamie. I've got Caitlin. I've got Katie B. I've got uh, Dave. I've got Alex. I've got Jay and I've got Terrence. Did I miss anybody? I'm okay. No. And on here I have Allegra. So that's a story. Okay. So. Here we go. We need to vote on how we want to start our story. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read you the four story starters. My storytellers, try to say that four times fast, have started. Hey, Amy, what's up? We're voting on our story starter by our storytellers to start our story. Wow. All right. So the number, number one and maybe... I'm going to go through them. I will not stay. Uh, I've got story starters from our storytellers to start our story. I've got story starters to start it. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's a tongue twister. All right. So your number one. Okay. I'm going to go through them and you're going to either give me a, a raise your hand or give me a thumbs up. Who likes... Once up and Facebook people just just type a little bit in. Once upon a time, who wants the story to start with once upon a time? I've got I've got Katie. I've got one. Katie's a romantic. Ooh, I've got Alex and I've got Jay and I've got Dave. Those are the romantics. Once upon oh and Alona and Alona. Once upon a time. Who wants? It was a dark and stormy night. Oh wait, Stephanie, did you like the first one? The first one? Once upon a time? Okay. 
The first one. Oh, I think I think the, the romantics are winning. Who likes it was a dark and stormy night? Who likes that one? Me? Uh, and listen, I, I, okay, wait a minute. All right. I, I like, I like, you know, I have a dark side, so I like that. Uh, a long time ago. Who wants a long time ago? Or you think once upon a time is a good replacement? A long time ago? No one? No one? Where do you want to change your vote? You like that one? Uh, Victoria likes it was a yeah. long time ago. Okay. Uh, and in the beginning, these are, uh, this is very dramatic. In the beginning. In the beginning. This is a, uh, anyone? Anyone? Okay, anyone? Um, so, uh, dark and stormy night. We have a vote over there. So. I think these are going to... Karen wants a dark and stormy night. Oh, my gosh. The tension. The tension. Anyone else? Sometime in the future. See, Amy is an optimist. Amy is an optimist. Okay, so I'll save these. Uh, all right. So here you go. I am going to count the votes. And... Far away. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tally the votes, and I don't want anybody to be sad, but the winner is Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. The Romantics won over, you know, the, the brooding, the brooding people. So we're going to go with Once Upon a Time. That just means the next one we could do what was a dark and stormy night. And maybe we can add it in. And maybe we do Once Upon a Time. It was a dark and stormy night. What do you guys think? We could combine the two. Yeah, you want to combine the two? <laughs> so what's uh, once upon a time on a dark and stormy night? Okay, so you've got your story starter. You've got your story starter. Uh, so tell me, who's going to start this story? Who is this story uh, about? Who do you want it? Now, I gave you guys a couple of people in here uh, on, your, on your sheet, but maybe you should pick, pick your, your hero or your heroine. Uh, who do you want it? Well, there's a cop there. He doesn't have to be a, a main character. He could just be, it was random. You don't have to use them, but it was to get you guys to think of something. So who should this story be? Who do you want? Let's start, let's start shouting it out. Who, who do you want your story to be about? A woman, a man, a cat, a dog, a, a, a beautiful middle-aged woman stuck in her house for a month? What? What? A dog. A dog. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, somebody said a dog. Jay, what did you say? I, I couldn't. Prince Charming. All right. So Prince Charming. What about Prince Charming and his dog? Because listen. Oh, where is it? Because if this isn't if this isn't Prince Charming's dog, what? Oh, uh, you think what is that? Is that the dog? Your printer's better than mine, Hannah. Is that the dog? <laughs> My printer ran out of. Uh, look, he's he's he's. So the dog. What about, or, or, is, or is the dog named Prince Charming? Somebody tell me. The dog's name is Prince Charming? The dog, what do you want? Prince Charming. The dog is named Prince Charming. Okay. So, sorry, Jay. That's what happens. Once upon a time, on a dark and stormy night, there was a dog named Prince Charming. There was a dog named Prince Charming. Was a dog named Prince Charming. There he is. Okay, wait a minute. I got to put this up on my board. All righty. Ooh, I think I have cat hair on my scotch tape. Gross. All right, so here he is. Here he is. There's Prince Charming. There's Prince Charming. And so tell me, where is Prince Charming? Like, what, what's going on with him? There he is. There he is. There he is. There's Prince Charming. What's happening? 
He's in a bowling alley. He's in a bowling alley? <laughs> all right, I like that. You guys game, I mean, all right, let's put him, let's put him in because that's, that's absolutely, that's absolutely where, oops, sorry. That's where dogs named Prince uh, uh, Charming would be. Uh, uh, yeah, why not, right? Why not? Because what else is he going to do? Uh, so, okay. So somebody tell me. So once upon a time, on a dark stormy night, there was a dog named Prince Charming. And he is something else, this Prince Charming. Uh, Prince Charming was in a bowling alley. What was he doing? What do you think he was doing in a bowling alley? Or who was he hanging out with? Knocking down bowling pins. He was what? Knocking down the bowling pins. All right. All right. Uh, so let me put that in. He was knocking down bowling pins. I guess that's better than chewing them up. Stephanie, who do you think Prince Charming was hanging out with? Who do you think? Who was who was he hanging out with? Where would a who who a dog named Prince Charming? Who would his friends be? Do you think he was with friends or his his mortal enemies? What do you think? Who was he hanging out with? Wait, hold on, I couldn't hear Stephanie. What what was he doing? He was with a cat. All right. What's his What's the cat's name? Gordy. Gordy? Like, Gordy. like, what is, wait, so, I'm sorry, I told, somebody say that again. Gordy. Gordy? I think she means Gertie. Gert, oh, Gertie, Gertie, okay. I, I have, I have a very old computer. You think I'm old, my computer's old. Uh, okay, so his best friend, that's very sweet of you to include Gertie. Uh, his best friend, uh, was a very rotten cat. No, she's okay. Uh, was a cat uh, named Gertie, and I can put her in there. All right, so here's what you got so far. Once upon a time, on a dark and stormy night, a dog named Prince Charming was in a bowling alley. He was knocking down bowling pins with his best friend, a cat named Gertie. Okay, so there you go. There's your story. You've got it started. All righty. Who else? Who else? Terrence, what else can tell me something else. Tell me something else about this, this dog named Prince Charming, because where is he? Because let me tell you something. Prince Charming, Prince Charming is, is something awesome. They're at the bowling alley. They're knocking down pins. Why are they knocking down? I mean, tell me something. Or what are they going to do next? Terrence, what do you think? What? No, I was just not. Wait, okay, wait a minute. Katie, you go and I'm gonna come back to Terrence. What did you say? I said the pins were evil. Wait a minute, the pins were evil? <laughs> okay, so uh, about these, uh, what made them evil? Does anybody. Why were they bad pins? Oh, a policeman. Okay, Alona has a policeman. Okay, hold on, Alona. Because it was a dark and stormy night. Okay, so um, they were knocking down the pins because they were evil? Oh, you mean Glendale? Wait. Wait, what, what Terrence? It's Glendale. Oh, okay. All right, if you're talking to your mom, you might want to mute for a sec. Because I'm thinking you're talking. Dave, you've got something, too. Alona wants us to introduce the police officer very soon. So hold on. Dave, are you are you motioning to tell us something? And people on Facebook, tell us. Tell us why the pins are evil. Oh, no. Dave, you're just hanging out? So they're, they're mortal enemies? Uh, are the pins possessed? Were they struck by lightning? What happened? Because we said it was a dark and stormy night. Okay. So, all right. How you doing? All right. So, how about, how about we say, how about we say, uh, they were struck by lightning. Uh, uh, you know, you know, and, and they were, you know, uh, you know, became evil or something like that. I think that might work. All righty. So, 
Alona wants to introduce a police officer. Here's the police officer. I love this police officer. I don't know if he looks like angry. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Alex, do you do you think you do you think we should put the police officer in now or later? Now. Now, okay. Alrighty. Alright, here we go. So we've got our police officer. Um what how does he get into this story? How does the police officer get into this story? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. And I see somebody's chat. I'm really sorry. It looks like he's running uh, Cinderella made pumpkin soup. Okay, good. You can get. You can also do chat. Now I'm cool. Now I'm cool. I got chat going on. So what's going on with this police officer? Yeah, Caitlin, tell us. Alex says introduce him. Alona says to introduce him. I say thanks for murder. What? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So... Now is the police so, so is is Prince Charming getting framed for murder of these evil pins? Is that what you're telling me? No, someone else. Oh, he's coming in to arrest who? Prince Charming or Gertie? Yeah. The cat or the dog? Yeah. Both. Okay. All right. So what you're telling me is uh okay, hold on. All right. Uh, uh uh, okay, you ready? Here you go. Here's your story. I like that. You got it? Okay. All right, Alona, I see the motorcycle, and I think I know how that's going to fall in. Okay, so here's your story. As these very diabolical storytellers are telling their tale, once upon a time, on a dark and stormy night, there was a dog named Prince Charming who was hanging out in a bowling alley. He was knocking down bowling pins with his best friend, who was a cat named Gertie. These pins were very evil because they were struck by lightning. Suddenly, a police officer burst open the door to the bowling alley. He approached Prince Charming and Gertie and said, you're under arrest for murder. What do you guys think? Yes. Yes. He came in on the police. The police guy came in on the, the motorcycle. Okay, so let's let's put let's put something. Uh, okay, now wait a minute. I don't know why all of a sudden I have this weird thing coming up. Go go goodbye. Uh, goodbye. I don't know why. Okay, so let me ask you. Uh, Alona said introduce the the motorcycle. <clears throat> Katie says the police officer comes driving the motorcycle. Who thinks the police officer should drive on the motorcycle? Or who thinks that Prince Charming and Gertie should escape on a motorcycle? Who's escape. Escape. Alex, you and I are thinking. I mean, come on. Prince Charming looks like he would. Come on. This cat. I mean, not this cat. This dog, he would be driving a motorcycle. How does dogs know how to drive motorcycles? Well, th th Prince Charming is a very special dog. Okay. So, uh, so who agrees that Prince Charming and should it be both Gertie? Should he just leave Gertie to take the rap? No. Or both? We could have a sidecar. Okay, a sidecar on the motorcycle for Gertie? Oh, I need to find a picture for this. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. And Gertie. Uh, uh, so they run out? What do they do? Do they throw pins at the motor? Do they throw pins at the officer? Do they just run? What do they do? What do they do to get to their motorcycle? What? They run. Stephanie says they run. They bolt out the door. Okay, I like that. All right, that's the same thing. A little bit more literary, a little bit more flair. They bolt out uh, the door, jump on their motorcycle. <laughs> okay, I see that, Hannah. Let's see. Uh, motorcycle, and they take off. All right, uh, so Hannah brings me my... Okay, wait a minute. All right, hold on, hold on. I got to get... Gotta get the motorcycle. I don't have a picture of a cat, uh, but let's see. So Hannah has brought in this guy, my favorite picture out of all of them. 
<laughs> I think I'm going to get this tattooed uh, yeah. on me. Hey, we got Will joining us. Welcome, Hello. welcome. All righty. So, all right, Hannah recommends we add this guy. And you can see my manicure is, is all ruined, um, but I really need to get to, I need emergency beauty. Okay, so, all righty, let's get this hair back up. All right, so, hey, Will, hey, Will. So, uh, I'm going to read the story in a second to get Will. Will, I miss you, man. Uh, so, just so we all know, I think we got David joining us uh, on Facebook, so welcome, welcome. We're telling a story. We're telling a story. So here we go. We've got Alona. We've got Victoria. We got Stephanie. We got Hannah. We got Jamie. We got Caitlin. We got Katie B. We got David. We got Terrence. We got Alex. We got Will. And we got David over there. And hopefully Allegra's still on. Okay. I sound like I'm gonna be doing a call. Okay. Now, Hannah said we should include my favorite guy. All right, my favorite guy. All right, Hannah, or anyone, who is this? Is this the police officer? Is this someone in the bowling alley? What do you think? What do we do with this guy? I think it's someone in the running. Someone running, okay. So should our- How about running away from the dog and going on the motorcycle? Okay, so, so some poor guy? Uh, has to run to escape, almost hit some guy? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, in their haste, how about that? Uh, uh, they almost, uh, hit, uh, let's see, uh, some poor, what do you call, uh, should we call him a bystander? Let's, let's use some fancy words. Should we call him a bystander? Uh, a pedestrian, pedestrian man on the street. What do you think? Everybody like pedestrian? I do. All right, pedestrian. A fancy word for somebody walking around. Uh, uh, pedestrian, uh, he screams and runs. What does he run into? What could he run into for safety? He could run into a store. He could run into a pile of garbage. He could... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You think he runs into a screaming bear? A growling bear? Uh... Okay. Well, we don't know. We don't know how this... Okay. Where Where does this guy run? Where does he run? For... You don't know, Will. It's okay that you don't know. That's what we're here for. In a toy store. In a toy store? Yeah. No. Okay. No, I think I think a pile of garbage. Oh, Alona says he runs into a into a school bus. Okay. <laughs> I hope it wasn't hit. I hope it wasn't hit. Okay, so let's let's start from the beginning because you guys got to tell us what happens next. All right. So you ready? Here's our story. Here's our story. Once upon a time, on a dark and stormy night, there was a dog named Prince Charming. Prince Charming was hanging out in a bowling alley and knocking down bowling pins with his best friend, a cat named Gertie. The pins were evil because they were struck by lightning. Suddenly, suddenly, Okay, thunder and lightning, okay. Suddenly, a police officer barged into the bowling alley and said to Prince Charming and Gertie, you're under arrest for murder. Prince Charming and Gertie bolted out the door and jumped onto their motorcycle, taking off. In their haste, they almost hit some poor pedestrian who screamed and ran into a nearby school bus. All right. For I, safety. For safety. Yeah, okay. All right, and that's, Katie's always a nice person. I kind of like it that he was almost hit by a school bus. We don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. All righty, okay, all righty. So here you go. Now, where's your story gonna go? Your main character, 
We started with Prince Charming, okay? So do we stick with Prince Charming or does the story shift to uh, Running Man here? Does it stay with Prince Charming? We have Prince Charming. Who's Prince Charming? Prince Charming. Okay, Alex and Will agree. We should stick with Prince Charming. I do think Prince Charming is more handsome than uh, my favorite guy. So hold on, I'm gonna put up our things here. Did you did you like having the pictures? Did you think this helped, or would you rather do it cold, like with no? Or did you find the pictures were helpful? Pictures. Pictures. Pictures were helpful. Some of you. Okay. I mean, everybody uses them. Yeah, no, they're fun. Okay, so we've got some more. Oh, wait, and then we had a police officer. All right, so guys, tell me. So Prince Charming and Gertie are um, are on the run. They're on the run. Okay, they're on the run. So here you go. They're on the run. What happens to them next? Don't tell her. Maybe tell Tell her what you want. Yeah. Um, restaurant. Oh, okay. So Alex is using the restaurant. Okay. All right. So I see Alona. Uh, this. I like this. So Alona has a picnic basket and Alex is saying like a restaurant. Okay. Um, so how can we work this okay. into our, into our story? So what do you guys think? What do you think? They end up at a diner with the man on the school bus. Well, that's pretty tough. He's on the school bus. Uh, I'll figure out. I'll figure out how we can add that guy back in. Maybe he barges in and he yells at them for almost hitting them. So, yeah. so let's see. So they escape. Do they? They escape uh, to a restaurant. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Will. Thank you. Uh, okay. So they escape to a restaurant. And you guys want to add, what the heck is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what's going on my computer. I don't know what's going on my computer. It's got a mind of its own. All right. Okay. So here we go. So they go, they escape to a restaurant. Come on, guys. This is your chance. Name the restaurant. Terrence, you got a name for this restaurant? Anybody? What would you call this restaurant? You don't know? Who's getting a phone call? Ask them, what restaurant? Alrighty. Maybe they go they, they go to a restaurant for, uh, maybe they get takeout. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna add this in. Uh, a picnic basket. Maybe they pick up a picnic lunch. What, Will, you think they pick up a, a picnic lunch? Uh, 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 okay, because I think I know how this is going to work, okay? Uh, 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 let's see, uh, okay, so hold on. Where? Which one is that? I can't, it's, um, my sound is a little garbled. Oh, it's someplace in Bloomfield? Is it at that Italian restaurant in Bloomfield? Man, that's pretty good. Yeah. Guys, make up a restaurant name. What's a restaurant name? Applebee's. Um, what? So did somebody say Applebee's? Burger King. Burger King? Burger King? You guys have expensive tastes. I don't know if I could take you guys out to lunch. So they go to Burger... Yeah? yeah. What about the pizza place next to the bowling alley that we go to? I see you, Alex. Oh, Mama's Kitchen. I got some sad news about Mama's Kitchen. They went out of business. They went out of business. It's now Uncle Louie's. It's Uncle Louie's. But actually, they're pretty good. Okay, so one last choice. Anybody, anybody will, since you're late to the game, tell me, name this restaurant. And Alex, I do see your hamburger. I do see your hamburger. Uh, will, I I'm putting it in the story, Alex. Don't worry. Will, tell me the name of the restaurant. That's Wendy's. Wendy's? Wendy's. All right. Is that okay, everybody? Wendy's? Yes. Wendy's? Wendy's? Wendy's. 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 Wendy
How about how about we combine them? Donald. How about King McWendy? Oh, no, none of you like that. Okay. I'm going to give you a choice. Oh. Burger King or Wendy's? Wendy's. Wendy's. Okay, I got one for Burger King, one for Wendy's. I got... Uh, Wendy's. No, Wend Wendy's. Wendy's is in the lead. Wend Wendy's is in the lead. Wendy's. Okay, Wendy's is in the lead. Wendy's. Don't worry, guys. If you didn't get your choice, don't worry. Just let it go. It's all right. So they're going to Wendy's to get takeout, right? Uh, takeout in a picnic basket. Uh, and Alex said she wanted, they wanted hamburgers, right, Alex? Uh, uh, let's see, with lots of hamburgers. Okay, so they go to Wendy's. They go to Wendy's. Hold on, Terrence, hold on. Hold on. What, Will? Okay, and Sprites. Uh, okay, and they get Sprites. I know you guys love your Sprites. So, here you go, right? So they escape to, they escape to the nearby Wendy's restaurant to get a picnic basket takeout filled with hamburgers and Sprites. What happens next? And, and fries. All right, all right. You guys, really, it's costing me a lot of money. All righty. Who do they bump into next? Well, Alona, uh, I love the picnic basket. You lost a really good opportunity there. But uh, what happens with the coffee or something like that? Okay, Alona is putting up two things, a coffee and a lady jumping. Should I include that? What do you think? Let me see. Okay, so two people want to incorporate the coffee. All right, tell me what happens with this coffee. They're on their motorcycle. Or maybe, you know, I, I thought they were doing takeout. They get coffee out, out Wendy's. Yeah, well, okay, so they get coffee. What happens to this coffee? It spills. This girl hyper. It spills and jumps she up. It's very hyper. What? Oh, it makes them very hyper. Okay. Uh, <laughs> some of us know coffee from McDonald's, a different story. Okay, so who drinks the coffee? Who drinks the coffee? I drink the coffee. I drink the coffee. Mm. Ooh, my coffee's cold. Okay. Uh, do do they drink it or do they give it to somebody nearby? You guys are really missing out. They had a picnic basket. I I would have I would have bought him in, but whatever. Okay. So hold on, hold on. Oops. Olive. Okay, Olive Gardens, Carawana. Sorry, we're already at Wendy's. Uh, sorry, I missed that. Okay, so let's go back. So they get a picnic basket filled with hamburgers, Sprites, French fries, and coffee. And now you guys are telling me who drinks the coffee. You tampa. I drink the coffee. All right. The crazy lady. All right. When did this crazy lady get here? All right. Uh, so, um, okay. All righty. Okay. Uh, okay. So they give coffee uh, uh, to their uh, friend, uh, a crazy lady named uh, Deborah. Okay. Uh, and uh, she drinks it. <laughs> Uh, she drinks it all and gets, uh, somebody said really hyper. Okay, so here you go. All right, so they escape to the restaurant. Okay, they go, they get their basket. They give a uh, coffee. They give a coffee to their friend, a crazy lady named Deborah, who drinks it all at once and gets really hyper. And so what does, uh, crazy Deborah do next? What does she do? Oh wait, the policeman returns? The policeman returns? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, get your cards. I like it. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we've got a few. Okay, so here we go. This is how our story has taken place. It's how our story has taken place. So, you can use the cards. 
Or you could tell me something else. Who else? Who else hasn't shared? I see Alona has a singing uh, thing. I lost Will. Uh, who hasn't said something in a while? Uh, Jamie's just enjoying the show. Uh, here, bathtub. Alex, you are just picking these great ones out. So Alex and Alona both picked a bathtub. She calls, uh, she calls Tony, Crazy Deborah calls Tony to play some rock and roll music. That, that, that happens every day. That happens every day. I'm still good. All right. So, okay. So who jumps into the bathtub? The crazy lady. The crazy lady? Boy, you guys don't have a lot of respect for me. All right. So, uh, the crazy lady, uh, runs into, I guess, a nearby house. And jumps into a bathtub? Okay. Uh, okay. A bathtub and sings. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Alex, I see that. Uh, a bathtub and uh, starts singing. What might she sing? And you heard the... Yeah. Rubber ducky? Okay, and we got to bring the bear. Okay, all right. So she starts singing. Is that okay with the group, uh, Rubber Ducky? Okay, right. She's singing about with the with the duck, right? And and what does she attract? Because her singing is so horrible. An evil bear. An evil bear. Maybe he's a nice bear. I don't know. Maybe it's a nice bear. Are you saying my singing is bad? Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Well, I, I, I think let's let's see. All right. Now, I want you to know: Does the story end with just the bear, or does somebody save the day? Well, you have. You have Prince Charming. Prince Charming. What does Prince Charming do? What does he do? Does he save Deborah? Does he kick out the bear? What does he do? Save Deborah. All right, Stephanie. Uh, comes. Uh, okay. All right. And she, here we go. She watches while eating popcorn. Oh, go away. You're not ready yet, my friend. Here you go. Here's your story. Here's your story. Let's see if we got it, and I will print it up and share it with all of you. All righty. All right, let me, let me get my drama. Okay, here we go, guys. This is the masterpiece, uh, the Pulitzer Prize winning story that you guys made. Once upon a time, on a dark and stormy night, a dog named Prince Charming was hanging out in a bowling alley. He was knocking down bowling pins with his best friend, a cat named Gertie. The bowling pins were evil because they were struck by lightning, thunder and lightning. Sorry, Katie. Suddenly, okay. a police officer barged, uh, broke down the dorm door and came into the bowling alley. He approached Prince Charming and Gertie and yelled, you're under arrest. For murder, Prince Charming and Gertie bolted out the door and jumped on their motorcycle. They took off down the street. In their haste, they almost hit some poor pedestrian who screamed and ran into a nearby school bus for safety. They we gotta give him, we gotta give him a name. All right, okay, well, well he's a, you know, we don't know who he is, but we can. They escaped to Wendy's restaurant. They got a picnic basket of takeout filled with hamburgers, french fries, sprites, and coffees. They gave a coffee to their wonderful friend, a crazy lady named Deborah, who drank it all at once and got really hyper. Crazy Lady Deborah ran into a nearby house. She jumped into a bathtub and started singing the Rubber Ducky song. Her singing was so bad that she attracted a grizzly bear. How about an angry grizzly bear? How about that? Okay. okay. All right. In the nick 
just in the nick of time, Prince Charming showed up to save Deborah. And he, what did he do to the bear? I don't know. <laughs> what did he do to the bear? Uh, Beat him up? Attacked him. Attacked him. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. Attacked the bear. How do we end? What, what slogan should we end our wonderful story with that every story should always end with? The end. The end. I do like that. The end. We could do the end. Is there another one? That all of you? The when, end of time. The end of time? Oh, what happened to my romantics? What happened to my romantics? Does anybody know? You guys, you guys must be more liberated than I was. And they lived happily ever after. Thank you, Han The end. All right. Okay. Now let's put that down. So, uh, ever after. And, of course, we got to put the end. Excellent, guys. Excellent. For our first You Make the Story, we did a great job. And I really like this format where everybody got in. I apologize to Facebook people if I didn't see your comments. Maybe we can add them in. Um, so, I think it's an awesome story. I'm going to type it up and print it up and share it with everybody. Did you guys like this format? Did you like this activity? I see Stephanie's got a thumb. Yes, yes I think Hannah. Dave, we, Dave, were you giving me a thumbs down? No, you're giving me a thumbs up. All right, Alex, what'd you think? Okay, what'd you think? Alex liked it. Victoria, it was such a good story. We put you to bed. Uh, Alona liked it. Yeah, that's what I, I want to be doing, girl. Yeah, we liked it. We liked it. So it's hard to put together a story, but actually, in the end, I think we used every single, every single picture. So I would love to do this again. I think it's great. We'll try it again. And uh, later on today at 1230... Lunch Bunch. Lunch Bunch. Lunch Bunch is going to be special. It's going to have an international flair. Um, it will be just on Facebook today. So join in. Simon and I will be enjoying some international oh. delicacies, okay? Simon returns to enjoy some international delicacies. Yay. Um, Tony at Tooth... Sorry, I'm gurgling. Um, it's that it's those coffees and all those sprites. Um, to, uh, music at 2.30. I know there's some other stuff going on YouTube, other centers and stuff. I just can't remember, so I apologize. But... Fitness with Will and Amy. It, fitness with Will and Amy, okay. I don't know the time on that. All right, okay. So plug, plug, plug it all away. I'm trying to organize everything. And what I'm going to say is... Goodbye to our wild card Friday. Friday morning will always be a wild card, I think, until we're Thank back. Thank you. All right, everybody. Yeah. So I will see you all later for Lunch Bunch. And have a great day if I don't see you again. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, Facebook land.